setting up their system or altering various settings. Some PS4 customers may have an audio problem in certain circumstances. The PS4's audio simply stops working for no apparent reason. If your PS4's audio isn't working properly, check out this video and apply our solution. If one of the HDMI inputs or sources on your TV does not work, Try another, it's possible that you're using the wrong input. For example, if you're currently using HDMI 1, try HDMI 2 or 3, depending on the number of HDMI ports on your TV. Inspect the HDMI port on both the TV and the PS4 to ensure it is not broken. A foreign item or dirt may be obstructing the HDMI cable, resulting in an insufficient connection. To avoid harming the connections, avoid placing anything into the port. If required, use compressed air to clear dust or grime from the HDMI port. Another item to look for is an HDMI cable. If you have another game system, plug in the HDMI cord and check if it works. You might also use a different HDMI cable. If you're using a headset or headphone and you're not hearing anything, check the audio devices options. To check the settings for audio devices, here's how. On your PS4, open settings, select devices, select audio devices. Select output to headphones. Select all audio. Once you've checked the settings, go back to your game and see if audio is now working. If your PS4 still doesn't have sound, be sure to check the audio output settings. Here's how it works. On your PS4, open settings. Go to sound and screen. Select audio output settings. Select primary output port. Select digital out. Select the formats that your setup supports by checking the boxes. Select OK. Go back to audio output settings and select audio format. Select bitstream. Once you've checked the settings, go back to your game and see if audio is now working. Connect your PS4 to the internet and make sure to install any available software update by going under settings. Then, system software updates. If your audio problem persists, you might attempt resetting your console settings to defaults. Follow these instructions. Shut down the console by pressing the power button on the front panel. Wait for the power indicator to blink a few times. Once the console is fully off, press and hold the power button. Release it after you've heard two beeps, one when you initially press, and another seven seconds later. Connect the DualShock 4 controller with the provided USB cable and press the PS button. If safe mode launched successfully, select option 4, restore default settings. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.